Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a what I'm wearing for the upcoming season of fall. I've picked up quite a few things at the end of summer just in preparation for the transitional weather. I've also got a long list of wish list items that I'm thinking about buying for this season as well as looking into my closet to see the things that I'm going to be bringing back for this new season. By the way, if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Reza. I usually do videos around personal finances and lately I've been wanting to do a lot of like fashion related and lifestyle content. So if you're into that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So I did want to preface that I did not buy all of these things all at once. It's a collective haul, so I've picked up these pieces here and there just to see where there's gaps in my wardrobe for this upcoming season and what I want to fill it with. So just keep that in mind and I will be sharing prices in the description down below. So make sure you check that out as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is Cause. So Cause is I think a sister company of H&M and I've actually never shopped at Cause really in the past. I've definitely like walked into their stores and I think that their stores are beautiful and their pieces are pretty good quality, but I've never actually like bought anything from there until this past month and I bought three things. So the first thing that I want to show you is this jacket. It is a black twill cropped jacket that I feel like is a perfect transitional um, piece for fall. I think it'll go really well with the pieces that I already have in my closet and I got this in a size small so you can see that there's just a collar over here and the fabric is very very substantial and very well made and I really like the crop and the fit of this jacket and it's just got the buttons to close it up but I usually wear it open and I like pairing this with jeans and just like a plain t-shirt I think it really like elevates the look so I've definitely worn this quite a bit and I think this is my favorite piece that I picked up for my cause haul. I did pick this up at their Gastown location. So if you're looking for something like this, I would highly recommend looking at cause. This was around $150 Canadian. And I do think that it's worth the price just because it is an outerwear piece that you can wear with so many things. The next thing that I bought from cause was a suit vest. I feel like suit vests are having a moment. I think that they were definitely really big this season or this past summer. And I wanted to add one that is in the lighter color, I have one already in black and I've worn it a ton in the summer and I'm also wearing it throughout the fall. But I wanted one just in a different color and I really, really like this one from Cause. So you can see that the buttons are hidden on this one so you can't tell. And it's also got a bit of a belt detailing at the back as well. And then the last thing that I picked up from Cause are a pair of trousers and it's gonna be hard to kind of show them on camera because they're really long but it is this like khaki um, pair of trousers and they have a bit of a wide leg at the bottom if you can see that. Um, I think that they're really flattering. I did wear these a few times already and I've washed them. My only issue with this is that they look really wrinkly after washing them. So I've steamed this many times already and they can't get the wrinkles out for some reason. I need to figure out how to do that before I wear them again. So that is my cause haul. The next thing that I want to show you guys is a handbag. So I picked up a handbag in the summer months and I thought that this bag could transition really well into the fall months just because of the color and the style of the bag. So the one I'm talking about is my new Dragon Diffusion Triple Jump in the size small. So this is just a woven leather bag that is handmade in India and it's essentially just a tote and I've been wearing this one quite a bit. I am obsessed with this color. It's kind of like an espresso color and it just matches with everything in my wardrobe and it's been such a nice addition to all of the other bags that I have in my collection. I definitely think it complements everything that I wear and yeah, I highly recommend this one if you guys are in the market. Okay, now moving more into kind of fall winter months. So at the end of August, there was the Aritzia warehouse sale that happened here in Vancouver and I was able to go and I picked up two coats. I mentioned that in my previous video and I want to say I got pretty lucky because I've been eyeing these coats um, regular price and I was actually considering buying them regular price but I was really glad to see them in my size and in the color that I wanted at the warehouse sale so I'm going to show you what those are. 
I feel like it's going to be tough to give this coat justice because it is a very long coat and it's in black so it might be hard to see but I got the O'Hara coat from Babaton. This is originally $398 without taxes and I picked this up for $99 at the warehouse sale and it's just got like a very structured cut so it is very very long. It's like past my knees and it's got shoulder pads at the top here so it's a very structured almost like a blazer style um coat except it's just elongated and yeah i'm really glad that i found this at the warehouse sale i need to figure out how to style this because it does look very it does look very formal and i want to kind of dress it down a little bit with maybe sweats and a hoodie or something like that but yeah it's got a single breast there's two pockets here and it's got that collar that you see on most blazers. It is lined, but it's not too heavy. So I think it's perfect for fall. I feel like when it does get into winter, I would need something that is a little bit thicker than this. And speaking of that, I found another coat that I've been eyeing on the Aritzia website and I was able to find it at the warehouse sale. So let me just grab it. Again, it's gonna be pretty tough to show this off on camera in its full glory, but I will attempt. I got really lucky and I found the Aritzia Slouch Coat by Babaton. This is one of their coats that they bring back every single year. And honestly, I feel like everyone in Vancouver, maybe in Canada, has this coat potentially, but I wanted to get it for myself in this like camel color. And yes, this is the Aritzia Slouch Coat and it is, so well made it is a little bit oversized i got mine in the small i probably could have gone down to an extra small and again similar to the previous coat which is the o'hara coat it's really really long so it's past my knees and it is a little bit oversized but it's just got a double breasted kind of design i have had camel coats in the past but i've since sold them so i am missing this type of coat in my closet and in this color and i'm really excited to be wearing this for the upcoming fall and winter season i think that it's gonna definitely last in my closet for a long time just because of how well made it is and just the fact that it's a very classic style of coat so that is the slouch coat and similar to the previous coat it is 3.98 on the aritzia website but i found it at the warehouse sale for 174 which i found was a pretty good deal so i'm very thrilled to be adding this to my wardrobe for this upcoming season okay so that is everything that i have already purchased for the upcoming season and as i mentioned i have already created a list of things that I am considering buying. I kind of take a look at my wardrobe at the end of every season and see if there's any gaps and if there's anything that I need to add to my collection. I try not to like buy too many things or buy things that are too trendy. I really like to invest in the quality of the things so that I don't have to continue to buy it every single season. So there are things on this wish list that are maybe a higher price point, but that's just because I want to make sure that it's exactly the thing that I want and it's also gonna last me a really long time. I have learned in the past that, especially in my 20s, that like if I buy something that's cheap and it's gonna break down on me in one season, then I have to rebuy it again. It's almost more cost effective to buy the more expensive thing because it is gonna last me longer. So in this kind of like wish list section, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a higher price point and a lower price point. So if you are looking to shop for the upcoming fall season, you have the two options. So the first thing on my wish list is a pair of straight leg blue jeans. I think that the trend in the summer and over the last couple months is definitely more like wide leg, loose, low rise jeans. And I just want a pair and I don't think I have one in my wardrobe that is a straight leg and a true like blue denim that I can wear kind of like throughout the colder months. So I'm thinking of more darker washes and just more of a classic cut. So if you think of like the Levi's 501s, like that's kind of the style that I'm looking for. So I've been looking around the different brands to see what is out there. And the first one is, as I mentioned, the Levi's 501s, which I will put a photo here for you guys. And this is around like 120 Canadian price point, which I think is 
kind of like the going rate for jeans nowadays. So I definitely think that Levi's is a, an amazing brand for jeans. Obviously they kind of, if you think about denim and jeans, you think Levi's. So that is one of the options. And the higher end option to that is the A Goldie Harper jeans. I have not seen these in person yet. I've only seen photos online and I want to try these on as well, but they are double the price of the Levi's 501s. So I'm really hoping that the 501s work out for me so I don't have to buy the higher end price point ones. I do like a Goldie. I've had a couple uh, jeans from them in the past and I like their quality and I like the cut. I think that I am gonna get a pair of denim for the upcoming fall season because the only ones that I have right now are more like the bag gear style and I just want one that is more of like a classic cut. The next thing on my wish list is sweaters. It wouldn't be a fall wish list if I didn't have sweaters in this and I definitely think that I have a few good sweaters in my closet, but I want to kind of add a couple more that are a little bit more interesting. So really the only ones I have are like black, gray, and this navy that I'm wearing today. And I just want to add ones that are a little bit more interesting because I find that when I'm dressing for fall, I tend to gravitate towards like neutrals and sometimes my outfit is all black. There's just nothing interesting about it. So I've had really good success finding sweaters that fit well and wash well and last long at Uniqlo. So this sweater that I'm wearing today is from Uniqlo and I've had it for a few years now and it wears really well and it washes really well. And I also have this one, which is their signature one, which is the souffle um, merino wool, I believe, kind of like mock neck turtleneck sweater. And this is really good. I have this in a cream and a black as well. And it keeps me really, really warm. And it's just this classic design that fit well, but also have like an interesting kind of twist to them. So I looked at Uniqlo and they do have this exact sweater, but in a navy with like stripes on it, as well as a beige with cream stripes on it. So I'll put up a photo here for you guys so you can see the visual of what I'm talking about. And I also want to get another sweater from Uniqlo. It's kind of similar to this, but the neck of it isn't a like turtleneck. It's more of a classic crew neck design and I just need to go to Uniqlo and try these on but I'm probably going to pick that up kind of like later in the season because it's still kind of warm here in Vancouver. I mean today it's kind of gloomy and cozy and chilly which is it's a nice change from the hot weather but I think that in the next couple weeks it's still going to be hovering around like 20 degrees so I don't really need sweaters at the moment but this is on my wish list for this upcoming season. And then the second last category I want to talk about is shoes. I think shoes is such an interesting topic because there are so many like shoe trends happening right now. I know that ballet flats are very much on trend and sneakers are on trend, but I've been eyeing a few different types of shoes and I'm still unsure about if I'm even going to pull the trigger on any of these. I kind of have like an asterisk on them in my wish list because I either have something really similar to it or it's something that like I'm not sure will take me through like the fall season. So let's talk about it. The first one is a pair of black mid heel boots. I will put up a photo of the one that I'm eyeing here. Um, these are from Totem and they are their classic like mid heel boots. It's got kind of a smaller heel to it and a pointed slash um like a pointed square toe and i remember wanting these like two or three years ago and i never pulled the trigger because they were so expensive and it's increased in price over the last couple years so right now they're sitting at 915 dollars canadian on essence and i just feel like i can't stomach that price and i actually bought a very similar pair from Mango two years ago because I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in the Totem ones just yet. And the Mango ones, I wanna say were like $120 and I still have them. So I basically have the dupe of this shoe or this boot and I just, I don't see myself like buying a pair of $900 boots when I already have something really similar. So there's a big asterisk 
here and I just don't know if I'm gonna be buying that. There's other things on my wish list that I want more. Um, but yeah, that is the first boot that I have my eye on. Next one is loafers. So I think loafers are also on trend right now, just not as big as ballet flats. I classify loafers as a classic pair of shoes. And I did have a pair in the past that I ended up selling because it wasn't really my style at that time. But I kind of feel like as I'm maturing and as my personal style evolves, I'm kind of thinking that maybe it is my style now and maybe I do want to get a pair. So the friendlier price option here is the GH Bass um, pair of loafers that I feel like are now everywhere. Aritzia carries them right now and I also saw them at Holt Renfrew and I tried them on. So those will run you around $250 Canadian. And then there's another pair of loafers which is the Row loafers. Uh, I'll put up a photo here for you guys. I am obsessed with these, but I think I'm only obsessed with them because, I mean, they are the row. They are very good quality. I've also tried these on at Holt Renfrew, but they are astronomical. They're $1,700 for a pair of loafers, and it's just, that's just so much money for a pair of loafers, and I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get either of these, and if I am, I'm likely gonna get the cheaper option just because I cannot afford the row loafers. I wish I could, but yeah, I, I'm not even sure if they're even my style right now. So I think I just need to like mull this one over, but they're kind of on my radar at the moment. And then the last shoe that I wanna talk about is kind of different from all the other shoes that I currently have. I don't think I have a pair of these in my wardrobe yet, but they're essentially just kitten heels. I follow this Instagram influencer, let's call her. She's based in Paris. She's actually a stylist. And I just really love her style and I think I really resonate with her style. So I'll put up a photo of a few of her looks. She has a couple pairs of kitten heels that she has been wearing all around Paris and she just looks so chic. And I kind of feel like that's the look that I wanna go for. The only thing is it probably doesn't go with my lifestyle because all I really do is go to my nine to five, Monday to Friday and my nine to five is very casual. Like we don't, no one really wears heels at work. So I think that it might be strange if I just show up in a pair of heels, but also who cares? It doesn't matter. I can wear them if I wanted to. Anyway, I have been looking for a pair of kitten heels that are similar to how Sylvie wears them. I found one from Aid. I'm not sure if I'm saying that brand correctly, but Aid has them for around $500, which I know is still so much money. So they're not even really the cheaper option. And then the other one are the Manolo Blahniks May Sales. And these ones are a classic from Manolo Blahnik. I used to not really care about kitten heels because I feel like they're, it's just not really part of my lifestyle anymore to be wearing heels. I used to wear heels a lot in the past and living in Vancouver, everyone here is just, I don't know, like super casual. And if you're wearing a pair of heels, I feel like people are gonna be like looking at you weird because yeah, everyone is in like workout gear essentially. Anyway, those are the three shoes that I have in my wish list. But the last thing that I wanna talk about is perfume. So I'm kind of slowly getting into perfumes. I have the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt and I feel like I would say that that is one of my favorite scents and I am also a really big fan of Byredo. I had their Mojave Ghost maybe last year and I ran out of it. I just haven't purchased a new one but I really like that scent as well and I want to kind of get a new fall scent and I don't have a cheaper option for this one unfortunately but the only scent that I'm eyeing that I have tried on a few times already is the Byredo Bal de Freak um, perfume. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I'm terrible at explaining the scents of perfumes and the notes and stuff but I'll just read out to you what it says on the website. So it says that the top notes is African marigold, bergamot, and buchu. buchu. The heart notes are violet and cyclamen and then the base notes are Moroccan cedar wood and vetiver. So I don't know if that made sense to any of you guys, but I've 
had the scent in my wish list for a while. It's just a very, very pricey brand. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. A bottle will run you $275 for 50 mils and then I think 398 for 100 mils, which is just so much money for perfume. And I still have some of my Jo Malone one, which I'm trying to kind of finish up and maybe I'll buy it once that's done, but we will see it's on the wish list. And that's it. That's what I have for my fall fashion wish list. Let me know what's on your wish list, what you are thinking of buying and adding to your wardrobe. I would love to know in the comments down below. And then the last part of this video is I want to show you guys some of the things that I've picked up maybe last year or last couple years that I'm going to be bringing into my fall wardrobe. So I do have a few things still in storage, but I've started to wear some of my favorite fall pieces that I want to share with you guys. So the very first thing, and I'm realizing that this section is going to be handbag heavy because I love my handbags. So we can probably start there. The very first thing that I'm definitely going to be bringing into the fall months is my beloved Loewe puzzle bag. I have talked about this bag extensively in this video and this video. So if you guys want to check those out, but this is probably my favorite handbag in my collection and I'm so excited to be bringing it back into my fall rotation. I definitely think that this is a fall handbag. I don't really wear it too, too much during the summer times, just because I have other like lighter handbags for that. But for fall, I love wearing it crossbody. I love wearing it top handle or just kind of like the crook of my arm. It fits so much more than you think. This is the small version and this is the regular puzzle bag, not the edge. I know that they're going to be discontinuing this one, which is so sad and they're going to be just creating the edge from now on. Yeah, if you're thinking about this and you're mulling it over, I, this is your sign. You need to get this bag. It's my favorite and I've had it for four plus years now. So yeah, and it's still in amazing condition. So that's the first bag that I am gonna be wearing throughout this fall season. The next bag that I wanna show you guys is my Celine Romy Tote. I have also made a video on this, which I will link here for you guys. And this I bought, I want to say last year, and it's one of the first, if not the first handbag that I bought in a color. So most of my handbags I usually buy in black so that it fits with everything in my wardrobe. And I'm really glad that I went with this kind of like burgundy color. And I have been wearing this kind of during the nighttime in the summer months. And I definitely think it's a good, 365 handbag that you can wear all year round but I think especially in the fall because of like the color of it and the fact that you can put it on your shoulder and there's still space if you're wearing a coat with it this is definitely a handbag that I'm gonna be wearing throughout the fall months and I just think that this color is a neutral that will match with everything in my wardrobe okay let's talk shoes as I mentioned sneakers are trending this fall and one of the things that I have been loving is a pair of Sambas, just like everyone else. Sambas are, have been my go-to shoe this summer and I feel like they match with every single outfit. I did buy them in this like really cool like green color and I think that it adds a little bit of pop of color in my usually like dark neutral color palette. And yeah, I've been wearing these quite a bit and I'm excited to be bringing them into the fall season as well. And then the last pair of shoes I want to talk about are my Gucci mules. I've had these guys for so long. I want to say I bought these in 2017. Um, and they're still, I mean, they're not in perfect condition, but they're definitely worn and loved as you can tell, but I have been wearing these quite a bit, um, as well, but I always bring these out for the fall months and you can see that I also got them resold. So they look pretty good still for how long I've had them. And yeah, I think that they're just a classic shoe that will match with everything in my wardrobe. And the last piece I wanna show you guys is a trench coat. This is my favorite trench coat I've ever purchased. This is from 2020 and I've never regretted this purchase. It is a bit of a higher price point. I wanna say I bought this 700 it's increased in price quite a bit but i have worn this every single fall and continue to wear it and enjoy wearing it and i just feel 
like it is so worth the money because of the quality and the cut and the design of the piece and i'm talking about the totem trench coat it's going to be kind of hard to show you guys this but as you can tell i really enjoy like long coats um, that go past my knees this one is your typical just trench coat it's really well made and the fabric is really really nice i think totem is kind of similar to the row but in a friendlier price point again i say friendlier price point but that's all relative obviously the row is so much more than totem and i know that totem is still very very much in the higher price point and i really enjoy bringing it out and wearing it i think it is a very classic piece that um if you are have a similar style to me um which is just like classic pieces in classic cuts like i think you would really like this coat but yes this is the final piece that i want to show you that i'm going to be bringing into the fall season that is in my wardrobe but yes that is everything that was a lot of things that i just showed you and talked about i hope that you got some sort of inspiration from this video and if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions as always please leave them in the comments down below and wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.